Welcome to the wonderful world of cartoon generating. I would like you to open a browser on your computer and type in www.pixton.com backwards slash schools backward slash activate. And this will bring you to your activation key slot. The teacher has already given you your activation key. I need you to type it in as it has been given to you. Make sure you type capital letters. And once you've got your activation key typed in, click Submit. Now, if for any reason you find yourself at a different login, if you look over here on the right-hand side, right where my arrow is, you will notice a little button that says, Click here to activate. You may have to do that. This is the next screen you will be given, and this is where you choose a screen name and a password. This can be anything you like. This will be the name that appears on your account and should be something that's quite familiar to you. Um, make sure you record it once you have typed it in so that we can find it again if we need to. Make sure you use six characters or more. And now you will notice that you are into the site. Now, at this point, I have signed in as a student from another class. Your name should be up here. For the purposes of this assignment, I want you to click on Create, but you could change your profile and play around a little bit once you've begun the process. For now, click on Create, and then Create a Comic. Now there are many choices that you have in front of you, but I would like you to pick a super long one because I think you're going to need some space. You can always delete, but you can't add after the fact. So let's choose a super long one and you'll notice that you have five templates that you can choose from. You decide what you want. I want to have the most cells as possible, so I'm picking this one on the far right and it will take a little bit of time for it to load. Be patient. Don't click it more than once. If you do that, you're going to have a mess on your hands. And now you'll see that the cells have opened for me to actually begin to create my comic. By clicking on the first cell, I will open up some toolbars. And that's going to happen here in a minute. There we go. You'll see there are toolbars to the top, or along the side, and along the bottom. And I want you to play around with them, get familiar with them, see what they all do. For this purpose, I'm going to add a background to the picture. And if the background's too big, see the slider tool here, you can just slide it down, make it a little more the size of your frame. And Once you get that placed, if you click outside of it, it will automatically add another one to the frame. But we don't need that, so I'm going to undo it or delete it. At this point, clicking on the frame again will give me access to my toolbars. And I'm going to add a character. Now I can play around with enlarging her, making her tilted sideways. Oops, that's a little too big. Yeah, we're going to have to do Oh, Notice what just happened. They stay in ratio to one another, the character and the backdrop, when you pull the slider. So if you want to make only the character get small, you're going to have to highlight the character and move her around. Okay, that's, that's it. You are going to be creating a public service announcements for your own P2 
PSSA testing. Have fun. Enjoy.